Boys and girls, last time we were talking about Greece, we learned that there are three different types of architectural columns from Greece, Doric, Ionic, and our favorite fancy friend, Corinthian. And we saw one of the most famous buildings using columns that still exist today, the Parthenon. We also looked, do you recognize these columns? Ionic. Here we have another type. Doric. Can you spot these columns? Corinthian. Oop, that's a good one. Corinthian on the New York Stock Exchange building. And yet another Corinthian on the Supreme Court. Now, the last time we were together, we looked very carefully at this and saw kind of the anatomy or the parts of the Parthenon. And we looked at how we were gonna do that in our own. We started with the staircase, we went to the base, you decided what kind of capital you were gonna have and make the grooves of the columns go all the way up. We did our entablature. At the top, we added our pediment. At the time, we left the center kind of plain, that inner triangle. We're gonna be filling that in today with something else. And then we finished with our favorite little fast toppers, the acritarians, that look really cool. Now, I, as an art teacher, have an issue that a lot of time people will look at their art and say, I'm done. And then it's kind of like they want me to say, yep, you're done, when it's obvious to all of us that they are not finished. The first thing that last person should have done was put on a staircase. This person has a very scary, unstructurally safe building because it doesn't have any bottoms of the columns. If you don't have bottoms or bases to your columns, you're going to need to add them. If you don't have staircases like the person before, you need to add them. Don't make me tell you, you can figure it out. This person is what we call not feeling groovy. Do you see that the grooves in the columns don't extend all the way up to the capital, to the top? She is going to need to do that. And it's simple. You're just gonna take your crayon and extend it all the way to the top so it looks finished. This is about making your very, very best work. The other thing is that this person, their bases are a little bit of that hamburger style that makes me a little nervous about going into their building. So it could very well be at the end that they would make it more solid looking, just like this person where the tippy top of their column looks a little weak as well. So this person is probably going to want to go back and first make things groovy and then be able to add in that topper. So once again, make sure that you get that top nice and sturdy. And here we have yet another person with really, really pretty stuff, but their entablature has not been filled in. It turned out she just hadn't finished, but that's okay. Just so that you guys are looking and making sure that that entablature, that is the roof. Nothing needs to be architecturally sound. It cannot be wimpy. Plus you wanna decorate it. Here is another one that absolutely, they've done a gorgeous job, but even they can look at it and say to themselves, if I'm thinking like an architect, where are the weak area areas in this drawing that I need to beef up a little bit so that someone feels comfortable going inside of it? So they could get those tops a little sturdier. They can make the bottoms sturdier. The last thing today is that you are going to be painting your project. And originally, we don't know for sure, but they say that the Parthenon used to be painted with a lot of really beautiful bright colors. The white columns were probably white, they think, and the top had color. You're gonna be doing the same, and I'm gonna show you some examples of how kids have done that now.